In this video, I'll go over our dashboard's filter options, and then I'll combine dashboard items into groups. I already have a dashboard designer that's connected to data for website statistics. First, I'll add a chart. Then, drag the count field to the value section. Change series type to stacked spline area. Then, drag the date field to the argument section and change the group interval to month year. Finally, drag the traffic source field to a charts series section. The chart will display website statistics by traffic sources over time. Let's add the tree view filter by clicking on its button. Bind the tree view to the traffic source and traffic source details fields. Go to the Design Ribbon tab and enable the Auto Expand option. The tree view will display a hierarchy of values defining traffic sources. You can filter the chart by checking and unchecking parent or child nodes in the tree view. Now let's add a dashboard item group by clicking the button here. Then, drag and drop the chart and tree view to a group. Select a group and go to the Data Ribbon tab to make sure that the Ignore Master Filters option is enabled. This allows you to keep dashboard items contained within the group from being filtered using external master filter items. Add another group that will contain website statistics by browsers. Create a chart and drag this item to the second group. To visualize browser statistics, drag the count field to the value section, then the browser and browser details fields to the argument section. Enable coloring by hue for the first argument. The chart will display browser statistics by version. Now let's add a combo box and drag it to the group. Drag the browser field to the dimensions data section. Then add the list box dashboard item to the group and bind it to the browser details data source field. Disable the Ignore Master Filters option to allow a list box to be filtered by a combo box filter element. You can filter chart data by selecting the required browser in the combo box and corresponding version in the list box. And that's it for this video. To learn more about our dashboards, make sure to check out the documentation on our website, or watch any of the other videos in our dashboards playlist. And if you want to keep up with all of our latest videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.